The growth and power of the Latino vote is undeniable. With such close races from coast to coast, it could have the most consequential effect yet come November 8th. From Georgia to Arizona, NBC's Bree Jackson shows us why and how. In the race for power, there's a group of voters that could push candidates across the finish line this midterm. Boots on the ground, or in this case, running shoes, are focused on mobilizing Latinos. We believe and we understand that the power of, of Latinos here in Georgia can decide uh, national elections. Jesus Rubio is with Mi Familia Vota, a grassroots organization canvassing in key battleground states. For Rubio, each door is an opportunity to inform his community about important issues and candidates. If the election were held today, uh, would you vote for Stacey Abrams? I'm not quite sure. One thing is certain, appealing to Hispanic voters could be the difference maker in tight races across the country. Arizona is one of the epicenters of the shift in voting demographics, with Latinos being one of the fastest growing communities, making up more than 30 percent of the population here. We're voting. We are uh, walking the walk and we're holding people accountable because they're making decisions about our lives. Catalina Rodriguez Greer heads Mi Familia Vota's efforts in Arizona. She tells me this year they've helped more than 35,000 Latinos become registered voters. They want to know how are these candidates going to improve the lives of my family and my friends. We spoke with women at this popular Phoenix restaurant about what's motivating them. Everyone should have a choice, you know, um, a safe choice. What issues do you care about most heading into this upcoming election? Um, immigration is pretty big, um, just coming from a Mexican background. While many people here identified as Democrats, the GOP has made gains in the Latino community under former President Donald Trump. We met Jonathan Ruiz at a Young Republicans rally. My cousins and my aunt, they don't they don't like hearing about Trump or they don't like hearing about any Republican side. Rally goers blame Democrats for issues ranging from illegal drugs coming across the border to inflation. The policies, I've been very disappointed with how this country's been ran. Latinos, one voting bloc with diverse points of view and the collective power to sway elections. Bree Jackson for NBC News. Yeah, a very diverse voting bloc. As census data shows, the number of eligible Latino voters has jumped from over 29 million in 2018 to 34.5 million today. Latinos now account for more than 14% of all eligible U.S. voters this year.